Okay, hello everybody. This is Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, Episode 5, Above and Beyond. This is myself, uh, Draggy Knight. We are currently live on my Mixer channel at www.mixer.com forward slash Draggy Knight. And uh, yeah, we're going to go through the last episode. So here we go. Crowdplay is something where you can allow story mode. people watching to choose what you do, but you have to sell, sign up to There's Telltale a key account. There's difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend... <sighs> Such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. The better Jesse. <sighs> and now poor Jesse is dead. Having never learned his lesson. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better. Yep, that's all, boy, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to taking down this admin, and if I get a chance to kill him, I'm going to. Okay, Tony Speaking Chan. of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was, well, she was a little much, but having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. I guess. She still scared me, though. She already helped us a lot. The portal buying us time to get up here. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, maybe Zara's lucky and yes, she is right now. Uh, the guy in orange Zara there, he is the voice the of Soldier 76 I'm from Overwatch, which I think is amazing. Entrance to that, that heck mouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Just remember, Petra, things look bad for us. But who knows what horrible things are happening to our friends, the people in Beacon Town right now. Uh, great pep talk? I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, but we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! My, that was loud. I still think it's amazing no. that the Soldier 76 guy, guy's voice is in this. I think it's brilliant because you don't realise it until, you, until it clicks and then it's all you can hear.
hell has he done to my beacon town? What the hell has he done? What do you guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is? The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Guys, admin! And he's with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. Typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And... Boom! Holy shit, he just destroyed an entire town. Just like that. We're dead. I'm going home. I had hoped there was still a chance of redeeming Romeo. No, I'm not so sure. Champion City. He blew it up just to make a point. Yeah, he's a monster through and through. And he needs to be put down. Yeah, I... I guess you're right. So is the face coming away. Still got the audio though, right? I don't know what to say. That's Admit, right then. A world beneath the bedrock? Yeah, I still think you made that part up. I mean, I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside? Axel and I almost did. And we're your oldest friends. I mean, if we couldn't tell, I... Exactly. I'll just have to make them understand what happened. Make them? I suppose if anyone could make them listen, it'd be you. But you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Petra! Cervantes228, thank you very much for the follow. You are absolutely awesome. She's on our side, but nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city. Gone. In an instant. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's going to pay for. So 
so glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. I'm almost glad Nermi doesn't have to see the old Every time he like talks, this. I cannot not see. Is it even safe to hide out again? 76. Here? All I see is Soldier 76 in a Minecraft outfit. The safest place around. That's all I can see. Safer than being out in the open. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. If you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. Excuse me. Okay, so, well, we've got heads. I'm surprised nobody wanted to take these. Too bad they don't help us, though. Bookcases. Yeah, I saw a tiny. Lead our way up to the tower. That's a uh, thingy skull up there. We got a couple of maps. Big map above the door. Pictures watching the front. Oh, who is Binter again? Oh yeah, that was the woman in the underground hey, thing, Binta. wasn't it? Justing okay. Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. We will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. <laughs> oh, Cervantes, you want me dead? Thanks for that. Uh, there isn't that many places you can actually okay there, die in story mode, to uh, be honest. It's fine. normally if you fail a cutscene so. event, to be honest. Just feeling a little violated at someone coming in here and robbing the place. Priceless artifacts and mementos gone. Everything ransacked. I don't know if it was the admin, looters, what I... Uh. I promise, Jack, we're going to get everything back once we defeat the admin. Yeah, you're right. Probably I think it's brilliant that... He's called Jack, which is Soldier Seventy Six's name as well, Jack Morrison. Looking around, might be something useful in here yet. He does have a Jack uh, voice, doesn't he? Though. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. Hello, Luna. Doing okay, Luna? <laughs> yeah, I know it's scary. We're gonna get through it though. Poor llama. <laughs> Half the maps are gone. Hey, you two. What's up, Jesse? You two haven't seen Lucas around, have you? We got separated when the admin zapped us to his prison. No, he... he's just been missing. Kinda went underground. I'm... I'm sure he's okay, though. What brought you both back to Beacon Town? So, Tony yeah, Chan, you're a llama. Yeah. We heard something weird was going on. I had no idea how weird until we saw the lava, though. When you thought the admin was me, did he tell you anything about a terminal, maybe? I have no. a talking llama in my chat. Jerk. Yeah, I've had worse things. Question. He does spend a lot of time in that floating tower, though. Would she never let us go to? I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay, we'll be here. Keeping an eye out. <laughs> oh, let's see what they're leaving, guys. Oh, excuse me. Is this? Hey, oh, Jack. it's uh, thingy wings. By the tides, I'd almost forgotten about that stash. Are these elytra wings? Elytra wings. Those are super rare. Yeah, got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? I'll just put that in my inventory, don't worry.
No! Oh, <gasps> fucking... Army! Damn it, Nerm. Never letting you out of my sight again, Nerm. Never again. <laughs> fucking <laughs> villagers. <laughs> but how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out! Ah! Uh, Ivor, what on earth were you just doing? Hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? Bad that point. is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you! Oh, oh my oh my gosh. Do you know who that is? That is Ivor, founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend. Standing in front of us, Nerm, within arm's reach. Trust me, Jack. Best thing around Ivor? Just be yourself. Uh, yeah, that uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Thanks, Jesse. Well, here goes. Ivor of the Order of the Stone? Whew. This is quite the pleasure. Huh. Well, yes, of course it is. And you are? Oh, me? Oh, I'm uh, the uh, the uh, stock, the uh, stab, well, from the... I'm uh, <laughs> nobody. Uh, how are you? <laughs> He's Jack. Oh, well, hello. Always nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, well, that was a bit awkward. I'm happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. Fell for my deception, hook, line, and sinker. My story about you dying in your escape attempt? Admin loved it. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum Thank security you, and escape without think. being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult and took many, many days of intense mental activity. I can't believe that you risked your life for us. You could have died. What if Ivor hadn't gone back? <laughs> Nerm, you are a treasure. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes, I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. Let me guess. There's guards, right? Yes, yes. Though I requested a post there, the admin appointed special golems to patrol the place. Just, uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, I'm talking out. You? Wanting to talk it out? But that's not... You can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yeah. Some people just don't want to be reasoned with. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but... Elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, that's a big map. Fireworks, which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event. Isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. We never get backstage without fireworks skilled uniforms. So we find Stella, and she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up, and boom! Backstage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. doing you're gonna be getting me a bucket of water we'll get to that while we're getting the fireworks axel and olivia will distract the admin are you sure i can't just blow up the stage uh, that would be distracting axel then we wait until the big fireworks finale the what it's romeo i promise you there will be a huge fireworks finale 
Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go It's funny, so I'll go into work. Of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. And the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato four five one to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows. See? This is funny, so I'll go into work. Might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. No, it's really not going explosions, to. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. Champion City was torn down. We all saw it. Stella's been hurt by the admin, too. There has to be a way to get through to her. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that. Well, Stella does know where the Fireworks Guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great. Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets, because Jesse is the admin. You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Did he just strip in front of his friends? Jesse, I know you think Stella's just another victim of the admin, but be careful, okay? I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. Find Stella. An ocelot? What is that for? Golems with hats. Ooh, they are. There? Golems with hats. What the? Okay, some dodgy's going on here. Okay, he's definitely up to something. So one of them is going to be the admin. Yeah, did I not show you the tomb that I did for Reuben? I think I did. Uh, where was it? Can you see it? Oh yeah, here. Yeah, I made I made this. It's my Reuben memorial because it de it gets destroyed. Um, it, it gets destroyed in I think the first or second episode. I can't remember one of the two. Um, I think it might be at the start of the second one. I can't remember, but. You ha you get given a chance to rebuild it, so I did. Looks simple, but it works. <laughs> Yo, Jesse, dude, just unveiled the new statue you built. <laughs> yeah, it's got um character? Yeah, I kind of liked the old one, but... Whoa! Hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it. <laughs> it is pretty great, isn't it? I wouldn't change a thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go with your gut. Totally. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
How did they not see him? I just came by to once again admire the update I did to my paltry first attempt at a statue. I really feel it's some of my best work. Yup, yup, coolio. Just keeping it the way it is forever. <laughs> yup. Keep it, uh, hanging, Nelly dude. Catch you on the flip side. I really do not like that guy. What the fuck has he done to my beacon? Then hire more people. Force them, conscript them, I don't care. Jesse Klein will be the greatest thing this town has ever seen, or I will personally ensure you pay the price. Where the heck am I supposed to get more people? Bingo, that's our ticket in. It's now or never. Perfect, now we can. Oh, gravel, where are those extra Jesse banners? Oh! Stella! Jesse, back so soon! <laughs> Since when do you. Hmm, you're not the admin, are you? Hmm? Hmm? It's no use hiding the truth. I am not the admin. For I am actually the real bona fide. Jesse! I knew it! Keep your voice down, all right? I am so glad you're back. Pretending to be the other Jesse's loyal servant has been exhausting. Wait, why am I just finding out now you're back? Don't you trust me, Jesse? I thought you'd move past your competitive nature with me. I am part of your core gang. I hate being left out of the loop like this. I wanted to, but it wasn't saved. Contacting with you being so close to the admin. Oh, you were protecting me. We are such best friends. Look, Stella, I need these uniforms to defeat the admin. I don't have time to explain all the- No problemo, friendo. Carry on with your top secret mission. I won't spill anything to the admin. I happen to be an excellent actor. I shall get into character. Let's just uh, separate, okay? Roger that. Exeunt stage left. She's a lunatic. And a mandatory celebration. And of course, as Jesse, I've got my best friends, Olivia and Axel, with me, don't I? Oh. Who are you? Yes, thanks, Jesse. We love being your best friend. Don't we, Axel? Oh, yeah, totally. The resemblance is uncanny. It's amazing. More like terrifying. What's wrong, Binta? The admin. He's right there. Right in front of me. All the suffering he's caused. Killing Fred. Inflicting sorrow on my people. He's so close. I could just charge the stage and take my justice now. Standing here idly. Seeing that smile. It'd be useless. There aren't any weapons that can even touch him right now. 
Our only hope is getting that word of passage up to the tower. <sighs> You're right. Attacking him now would only doom us all. And as Jesse, your Jesse, I'm glad we let's go to work. Of course it was mandatory, but I sense that you wanted to come anyway. So thank you for understanding how important I am to you. No one permitted back here except fireworks union, huh? Jeez, well, get back there then. He was poking. Thank you. Now we can get to our jobs that we're totally qualified to do. He was poking a creeper with a sword in an obsidian prison. I'll find a bucket and report back. Good luck. I hope you can pull this off. What the? There's no fireworks. Just stuff. Come on. Who plans a convention with no fireworks? Uh, why can't it ever be easy? <laughs> Please. When has it ever been easy? Easy or not, I can't help but notice that we still don't have any fireworks. I guess we'll just need to make some. There has to be enough supplies to craft some paper around here. Then, all we need is gunpowder and a fireworks star. Oh, that would really add some flash. We'll keep a lookout on the exits and stage. Fireworks stars. Okay, at least it looks like the fireworks union guys already dropped off the fireworks stars. Which one should I take? Okay, so you got a choice. Green, orange, blue or pink? Tiny says pink. Oh, guess I'm taking the pink one. Oh, it's magenta apparently. I think this one does like an awesome magenta burst. Very rad. Ooh, yes, he sugar did. Cane. Oh, I can make paper from bamboo, can't I? It's been a hey, while, I can't remember. gunpowder well never hurts having extra tiny This chest must be a fan. Creeper in a cage. Stupid. Gunpowder. Perfect. I 
You wanted a pink firework, Tiny Chan? You're Aimless getting a pink crafting. firework. hurt the admin yet but we can still take out his goons we've come too far to second guess ourselves and we can't let anyone get in our way maybe not quite so hard next time yes right sorry ha huh, not bad yeah i think we've given binta a bit of a taste for combat did you get the bucket right here Good luck up there. I'm going to check on my people. You're welcome Be back nice, here when Tiny. Come on. Thank you, Jesse, for everything. Okay, all strapped in. Fireworks ready. Press Y. I pressed Y. Okay, all strapped in. Fireworks ready. Lava. What was I glad to see that waterfall? Yeah, we were getting kind of nervous down there. Sorry, the welcoming committee was a little strict. Come on, let's get inside. Whoa. Six Gibbon two one three seven two five. Thank you very much for the follow. You are absolutely awesome. Thank you. Freaky, right? This place is dead. 
definitely strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now, huh? I was almost expecting, I don't know, another huge boss battle or something when we got in here. Yeah, the admin definitely seems to like those. But nothing. Don't be fooled, guys. If it's this quiet on our way to depower the admin, then it's gotta be a trap. Well, I'm not seeing anything trappish yet, but I'll keep an eye out. Oh, that's definitely a trap. Wait, no, are those jail cells? There's something. Yeah, this is season two, Gibbon. That's Lucas. I th I think that was Lucas. Look who it is! Wow, now that's a flashback. Come out and play! Uh, hey guys, what's going on? Stand down, Ocelots. Lucas! Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That... that's enough. Oops! S -s Sorry. Guys, Lucas, I think you're confused. It's me! Oh, we're not confused. We know exactly who you are. Now, hang on, everyone. No. It's our turn to talk. Not yours. Not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, Because but... the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas. So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, and telling us our builds were ugly. Lucas, would you please stop talking for two seconds and just let me explain? Huh. And there is the new Jesse I've gotten to know lately. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is... No. How do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss... The admin did the same thing with him. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did that... Lucas, you know how much I care about you. I could never hurt you. <laughs> There's the Jesse I know. Well, now that we have that sorted out... What in the world are we gonna do next? Wait, why are you even in here? We're trying to get to something called the Terminal. We have a... Word of passage. Okay, <laughs> a a password. That we can apparently use to take away the admin's powers for good. Yeah, a lot of that was way over my head, especially I'm the potato. But the word of passage I mean, is just basically a password. It's got to be. Will have your back. It's got to be just password. Well, would you look at this? Romeo's quite the Jesse memorabilia collector. I know we don't have much time, but it might be smart to suit up properly. Agreed. Right, come on then, which one do you want me to wear? Red, yellow, blue, blue, purple, gold, green, white, or blue, or purple? Oh, Dragon's Bane. Oh, I'm tempted. Tiny Sane Dragon. You know what, I think we need something a bit more regal. I think we should have Tim's armor, the white one, what do you think? Dragon or Tim's armor, what do you think? Ah, uh, she wants dragon, alright. Six Gibbon, I'm not quite sure what you're asking. Showdown. Agreed. Oh, thanks, guys. 
Time to end this. Ocelots! Oh! That's not Stampy, that's uh, Lucas. Okay, if I were a terminal, what would I look like? Why, hello there. Wasn't expecting you. Thank you, Charlie Halo, but uh, oh, try, try not to do spoilers. I haven't done, I haven't played this episode yet. This Maybe is my first confused, time through. But this is my office. Heard there might have been people trying to break in, so here I am. Hang on, let me try and reason with them. Uh, this ain't gonna hello, work. Jesse, it's over, admin. We're here to. Excuse me. Excuse me. We. Where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja, Ivor, told me you were dead. Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... Ugh, bad. Guess it was just a temporary case of death. Oh, you smug, arrogant, insignificant. What, pray tell, are you hoping to accomplish by challenging me? I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm just a touch more powerful than you. I know. That's why I'm not here to fight you. I want to talk this over. Jesse, a uh, Jesse. Ugh, talking it out? What's the point in that? That's what losers do. Real people, awesome people, settle their differences with... with... No, you're not doing any talking right now. Right now, you're just gonna shut up and listen. Nah, -uh, you don't tell me what to do. That's not how this works. <sighs> you know what? It's just as well you're back. Because being Jesse is the worst. Oh yes, yes, I said it. I hate being you. Your, your people, your friends, they're so needy, so clingy. I have to listen to their stupid voices day after day after day, just asking for things. I, mean, I, I thought being Jesse meant that people would do what I wanted to do. No one ever asks what I want. Ah, oh, it's all, can I have iron and can I have gold? And what are they using all that stuff for anyway? Ugh, oh, so annoying. Yeah, that's not how being a leader works. That's just selfish. <sighs> yes, well, it's terribly disappointing, is what it is. It's just... <laughs> but it was fun at first. I'd show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. <laughs> you know... You know what's funny? You've made me see something. I mean, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just... Oh, for God's sake. Bloody controllers. Leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the, the genuine article. <laughs> yeah, but maybe that is the best way to proceed. What's your angle here? This is a trick, right? Nope. No tricks, no angles, no games. Just good old Romeo telling it like it is. <sighs> well. This has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. Next time? Yeah, the, the next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm going to get it totally right with that one. No! A whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader, a great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these... These wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'll have more fjords in the, the next hell's one. a fjord? Romeo, please give this world another chance. One more chance. Could. Would love to. But won't. Shan't. This way is easier for me. 
Oh well. Toodles. Oh, this doesn't seem good. Oh, you guys are okay. Yeah. He just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Whew. Such a jerk. Oh, please no spoilers, Fredo. I will instantly ban anyone who spoils. That doesn't make sense that that's getting bedrocked either. Fredo2706, thank you very much for the follow, you are absolutely awesome. Be nice guys, come on, keep it chill. Charlie Halo Bow, thank you for following. You are absolutely awesome as well. Just keep it nice, guys. Be nice to each other. Is that the clock from the admin's tower? This is weird. <clears throat> I mean, uh, I uh, found the Colossus. The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? So, I'd be nice, everybody. There is so much stuff in here. Yeah, kind of hard to make sense of it all. Oh, uh -huh. well, it's the admin's place, right? So what would he do? He'd probably know where he was going, so... Admin protocol initiated. It's him! Oh, it's just more of his stupid recordings. You've selected admin protocol. Oh, it's like a automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Okay, that's actually pretty pretty. Pretty pretty, well, that makes sense. Shall we? So Wait, he has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here too. Kinda makes me feel bad for him, actually. I... that was all over my head. Password, password, password. Called it! Word. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato451. Huh? 
It's empty? Waiting for material request. I mean, it must be talking about the potato, right? Sounds right to me. Uh, potato? Please? Acquiring potatoes! <laughs> Items dispensed. Thank you! Wait, two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison, but it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something? Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Hmm. Had to figure out which one is correct. I hope this is right. I still need to enter the rest of the word of passage. Won't know if this is right or not till I do. Is that right? Hmm, don't think that's exactly right. Oh, I think I know what it is. Okay, don't tell me. I'm not looking at the chat. I want to work it out myself. Please. Potato four five one. Hi. All right, let's try that then. Hmm. Nope. Don't think that's exactly right. Oh. What if I try this? Okay, one's right. Okay, so I've done something right. Oh, I think I worked it out. Okay. Okay, I've got it. I worked it out now. There we go. God, that was okay. Okay, that's more like difficult progress, than it should have right? been, but. Thank you. I'm guessing that's not. I was thinking maybe you just had to have one for each number, but then I saw the Sorry, the Barrett. one there. I was like, that's it, towering up from the bottom. Okay, so now what do I do? Try with the poison potato, maybe? And there we go. Was that a good thud or a bad thud? It's Fred? Zara, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well... 
I guess the worst has happened. And you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Then good luck, Sara. You're... Well, I think you might need it. Well, here goes nothing. What do you think you're doing? What's happening? We're here to stop you, Romeo, once and for all. I told you, your world's done. No take that! <laughs> Jesse, hurry. Didn't like that. I don't know what you're playing at, but it ends now. now, now. I said it ends now. Hit him again. What? Hit him again. Come on. Hit him again. Oh, you, you think you're very clever, don't you? Well, how about we finish this with a little change of scenery? The, the Sea Temple? Kalu Kalei, Jesse. Remember when we first met? Oh, that was back when I thought we could still be friends. Hello, Darrow. How you doing, pal? Huh. Figures. <laughs> I got distracted by chat. I didn't do the this did, didn't do the quick time event. <laughs> It's going to be where I bury you. Hello, sub. Running out of platform, Jesse. Ah. Nowhere to run. Hit his glaive. Hit his glaive. Did it work? Snowman form that he had. Oh, in the face. I missed. I missed again. I'm not very good at this, I will admit. Really? Snowballs? Okay, so apparently I'm too close. Alright, good to know. Come on! I'm pressing A and it's not doing anything. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm going to die here. The, I'm pressing A in perfect timing, and it look, it's not even... That's poor game design, that is. Right. Now. 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 It, it doesn't... I'm pressing it in time for when it should, and it's just not doing what it should. Finally, it does something right. Really, game? The controls for this are so bad. But that shouldn't have hit me. I pressed it before. That shouldn't have hit me because I pressed it way, way before. This is ridiculous. I'm doing the best I can, given, but the controls for this are bad. I'm hitting it like when it's half, half. Like when those flames are half between me and the the snowman, I'm pressing A, and it's just not doing anything. All right, Dara, you take care of yourself, man. Thanks for coming along. I have to hit this bell end. Oh, Shuyo can uppercut. Nice. Oh, I am very much starting to hate that stupid gauntlet. Games are over, admin. Give it up. Oh, I am going to. Are you dumb? Don't touch me. Touch me. Jesse. Petra? Yeah, that's clearly not Petra, Jesse. Okay, so he matrix dodges everything. Good to know. Do I have to hit him off the edge? That's probably what I have to do, isn't it? Yeah. Punch him in the face. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 not here, not here, not here. 
Not like this! Not as... Wait, please, please, stop! Don't take all my powers away! Without them, I don't know what I'd do! You... you can't take that from me! You abused your powers, Romeo. Time you paid for everything you've done. Don't you judge me! You don't get to judge me! Give me back uh, that corporate! That's the cause of this! Uh, let's go! Huh, jerk? Get away from me! Privilege has been revoked. Why do you have to go and make everything so difficult? Everyone likes you, and you're nothing. Hey, we're not the ones trying to rule the world. What? No, no, I'm not. I just. I just wanted people to... People to... This place is held together by my powers. No more powers. No more terminal zone. We're doomed. We're gonna get buried if we don't get out of here pronto. What about him? Vegan. What about him? He's not our problem anymore. But look at him. He'll never make it out of here on his own. Oh, she's right. Just... just leave me. My powers are the cause of all this in the first place. I deserve to stay here and pay for the mess I made. I can't believe that... This is what it took for me to realize. You can still fix things, Romeo. No matter what you've done, you're still a person. Like everyone else, you can be redeemed. Redeemed? You... You really believe that, don't you? Jesse, now's the time. We gotta go. Go on, leave me. I deserve to stay in this oblivion. You're not staying here. That would be the coward's way out. Come on. If the lava gets to that portal before we do, we'll be stuck here forever. Then let's move. Why would you make that? Almost there! Everyone 
That's so awesome. That was awesome. Not a minute too soon. Oh my gosh! It's not to following me, right? Right? Nah, I think you're in the clear, Slim. Hey, nice work. I wish we're back in Beacon Town, Gibbon. I. I. Thank you. Sincerely. I hardly believe that I deserve to be here at all anymore. I do know what I need to do to make up for my crimes, though. I'm going to return to the underneath. Try to help all the people I left behind. Fix all the lives I ruined. And I'm gonna try and find Zara. See if I can't make things right between us. I mean, it doesn't make up for what I. Or what I did to Fred. But if I can heal things with Zara. Well, it's something at least. Can I just chuck him off the tower? And no more admin powers. Everything I do now will just be the normal way. That sounds fine, Romeo, but it's only the start. You have a lot of making up to do. I know. It's true. Throw him off the tower. No, even better. Throw him off the tower into lava. No, even better. So build a higher build tower, again, huh? throw him off the tower into lava. Goal? No, Why, yes, even better. Build an even higher tower, throw him off that tower into lava. Happy to see you all in one piece, too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that the admin? Is he? Don't worry. He's not the admin anymore. This is Romeo. Well, that's really better idea. No more admins for let's me. Put, Thank you very let's put let's put him in I that six-minute flame retardant armor. He did. Do you, do you really think he deserves to? Go and then put him in a lava cage and let him just count might... down the seconds. He might have been better off where he was. Oh, he's free, but he's not going anywhere. He's gonna make up for all the bad stuff he's done. I foresee many, many hours of community service in his future. Like, thousands. What do you guys say we head home? I say, way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> Me too. Man, I cannot wait to put on a shirt again. No, Fred, I didn't leave him. Okay, well, the beacon's back to how it should have been. 
Let's get rid of all this fucking lava, shall we? Actually, no, let's get rid of that whole fucking tower. Approaching you from this direction, and am coming to speak with you. No ninja trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. Both my actions and my intentions are crystal clear. Huh. I think I can hear Ivor, but I don't see him. I'm right here! Hello! Clearly in view! Oh, there you are. Hi, Ivor. Yes, hello. Hmm. So, no more Ninja Ivor then? Ha! Huh. No, no. I decided it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. Starting with trying to heal. I'm not sure what you're asking, Gibbon. Friends. Belly will be easy. Just need to stop by Redstonia. Last I heard, Gabriel was doing the wandering warrior thing. You can apologize, but they might not forgive you. I know, and they don't have to. Admitting my wrongs would be its own reward. Well, I suppose it's time for me to go. This has been fun, though, hasn't it? Jesse! Jesse, hey! What's up, Radar? I was just saying goodbye to... Guess ninja habits die hard. I, uh, hope you don't mind. But, uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? Really stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. And it's been... stressful, but also fun. You've definitely been stepping it up. I'm really proud of you. Oh, wow. This is... best day. Get rid of that tower. We don't need the tower. Whoa! Hey, Luna. Anyway, uh, so with Champion City gone, I was going to make Luna a new llama house and get her set up here in Beacon Town while I help out up there. But uh, before I did, I thought I'd uh, double check and see if you'd already you'd been planning on, you know, uh, watching out for her. Seeing, you know, that she likes you so much and all. If you've already built her llama house when I haven't been around, I, I, I just wouldn't want to double up. I can tell you mean a lot to each other in your own weird ways. I wouldn't want to come between that. Yes, yes, that's true. I really am sorry for how I acted, Luna. How I treated you. And I hope that if you'll stay with me, you'll let me prove that I can be better. Oh, Luna, darling. I can't tell you how much this means. Oh. I do want to sincerely thank you, Jesse, for everything. You saw me at my worst. What did I do wrong? You still thought I was worth saving. That, well, that makes me want to try to be better at being my best. I guess our rivalry is over. We'll finally put it to an end. Actually, I ended our rivalry. I can end a rivalry way better than you. I'm not proud of it, Jesse, but I was a little tiny bit weirdly obsessed with you. Oh, are we talking about Stella being a weirdo stalker now? Hey, Stella and I were just talking about what a crazy road it's been. Yeah, no kidding. Yes, well, we need to be running. Oh, and thank you again. For everything. Now, you got everything you need. All packed and double-checked? Yes, Jack. This is very... You know, bittersweet for me, you know. Goodbyes are... no good. <sighs> that we have, Nermi. So, I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. So, you're leaving, apparently? For how long? Oh, I'll take care, sub. 
probably a while. But it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to, like, grow or whatever. Anyway, I'm about to say goodbye to everyone, and I... Ah! I'm here. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Promise oh, broken. Jeez, it'll be okay. So Petra's heading off into the great unknown, huh? <laughs> I figured. Definitely sounds exciting. Everyone's got to find their happy place. For Petra, it's mostly in unexplored forests and caves. Yeah. I think I'm closing that chapter of my life for a while. It's time to settle down. Here. Hey, you guys are missing out on prime group hug action. Ah! No air! Actually dying! Ah. You don't think this is like the last time we'll all be together, do you? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if Petra's leaving... No, I got a feeling we'll all be together again. I don't know when, I don't know where, but it'll happen. I hope so. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna get out of here before I... <laughs> too late. Bye, guys. Be safe out there, okay? The safest. And when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I know back in Admin's cabin, you said you'd always be waiting in Beacon Town. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Wait, you're leaving? Town's pretty cool. I don't want to miss seeing it get even cooler. Oh, I was hoping that's what you would say. See ya, Petra. I, for one, am incredibly excited, and I can keep being your intern. Oh, come on, intern. He hasn't earned a promotion yet? Executive intern! Intern in chief. Ooh, director of internal affairs. Of course he's earned a promotion. He's co-hero in residence now. Nice. Thanks, boss. This, uh, you have been, you are. What I'm trying to say is that I promise I'll make you proud. You already have. Come on, you guys. Let's head back to the hall. Guys! Guys! Jesse decided to stay! I'm glad to hear it. I know! Me too! Just think about all the amazing things we'll be able to do. The new buildings, the new inventions, the new structures. I've got some big plans. Big, big plans that I want to pitch you. It'll be great, I swear. First, I think we should set up a couple of meetings. Maybe see about a conference with the Firework Guild, get a celebratory display going. Finally, finally do that lunch with the followers of Soren. Ho, ho, ho! And I finally checked the mail chest. And boy, were we behind on our correspondence. You received a letter from someone named Aiden? Something about wanting to redeem himself? No idea what that means. And a rather cryptic note from someone with the initials WP that just said, Look out! Strange. Anyway, point is, we've got a lot of work to do, and I can't wait to start! <laughs> Me neither, pal. Oh, there's Stampy Cat on the right.
Wow, these percentages are actually pretty close. Look at that, smack dab in the middle. Wow. Wow, I can't, that's the first one I've ever seen, smack dab in the middle. Wow, look at that. So close all the way through. Well, everybody, that has been the final episode of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. Thank you for joining me, and uh, I'll see you on the next, uh, next game.